Okay, down the hill there, there's a stump where I cut down a tan oak tree yesterday. Now this had a lot of large limbs, which you can see all over the ground here. And when it fell, it took out this madrone tree or busted off uh, one of the forks of the madrone tree or a branch or whatever. So this provides an opportunity to talk about something important about tree growth. It'll pertain to how you train your trees, like your fruit trees or any trees that you want to be strong and not be dropping limbs or subject to, you know, splitting apart and breaking. Um, you can see where the limbs split away and then there's this big dark patch. Well, that's called a bark inclusion. If you form like a tight fork in the tree, what happens is bark gets trapped between the two pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that down and get the uh, part that broke off and we'll take a close look at it. Right, so as you can see here, this crotch is a very, very tight angle. So what happens is, say, these were two twigs and I started growing. They're just little things, say, the size of my finger or whatever. And they're growing along and they're kind of like not too close together, but as they get bigger and bigger, they start to squeeze together. So the problem here is pretty obvious. Like, none of this dark area, it's just flaky bark. The bark is actually still in here. And none of that has any strength. It's not holding the tree together at all. The only thing that was holding this this uh, fork together was just this thin, like, one and a half inch strip right here of lighter colored wood. Even all the way down here to where the crotch is, that's like the epicenter of the crotch right there, there's nothing holding the tree together. If a tree's growing like this and along comes a heavy wind, a snow load, something falls on it, a heavy fruit load, sometimes even just it takes up so much water that it just gets super heavy and then breaks. Let's say this is your fruit tree and it's growing along merrily and everything's peachy. What's gonna happen is someday you're gonna get a heavy, heavy fruit load and this is just gonna rip right off and you lose, you know, everything. You lose the whole branch. If you're lucky, like a piece of it will stay attached, but you can't just stick it back together. So how do you prevent it? Basically, when the tree is young or the, the branch is young, you wanna train it outward at an angle. So let's say this is a new branch coming off of your tree. It starts to grow at a steep angle like this. You wanna get it as soon as possible while it's young and bend it out to say something closer to 45 degrees or closer to horizontal so that you don't get this effect. So now as this grows out, it's just gonna spread bark this way and grow with the tree and you're not gonna have this bark inclusion at all. Trees don't always do what's best for them. So when we have situations like a fruit tree or a tree in our yard next to a building, we can improve that. And also it's generally just better for the tree because the tree is going to be stronger and longer lived. Okay, this one on this tree is fine at 45 degrees. That's totally acceptable. That shouldn't cause any problems. Now this one here is too tight. You can imagine those growing to say two inches in diameter each, and that's gonna close this entire space and trap all this bark in there. So that's no good. Uh, there is a way to fix it, which is to cut saw curves underneath here. I learned that from Michael Phillips' book on uh, apple growing. It makes it weaker for a while, but compared to getting this bark trapped inside there, that it's definitely better. Better not to let this happen in the first place. All right, I'm gonna perform surgery on this one here. I could just cut saw cuts under here, but I'm actually going to go ahead and try to cut out a notch because it'll be a lot cleaner. And it, if I do it right, it'll close tightly and heal up faster. There we go. Well, gravity will take care of the rest. <clears throat> Okay, here's a little bit older branch. It's about two inches in diameter and it's growing at a, about a 45 degree angle. And you can see that that is perfectly safe. There's not going to be any bark inclusion in there. There's plenty of room for it to just keep growing and growing and growing. So 45 degrees or more is kind of what you're shooting for. All right, I hope you can see this okay because trees are notoriously hard to photograph. But this is a classic example right here. I have a tight forming crotch angle. It's at the top of the, the branch here. Like all, all the shoots below this are growing out at good angles. But these two began competing to be the top of the tree. Obviously this one's winning, but now it's already started to grow at this angle. So it's, you know, 
it's just going to do that. So when they're young like this, what I, I'll usually use clothespins. And this one is still flexible, but it's a little bit mature. So I have to be real careful not to break this joint right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it here really firmly so that I don't tear it away. See, I'm kind of squeezing. And then I'm going to sort of massage it over and limber it up, get it kind of loosened up a little bit. And that way we'll end up with it kind of goes up, but then right away it bends out and that's totally fine. Then I'll put a clothespin like this. It helps to get clothespins that are pretty strong. This one's a little bit stronger. Um, you know, meaning the spring has to be strong enough. And then I'll often double them up like that. And there you go. That's it. Now, this in this example, I don't actually need this branch, and I would normally have just cut it off because this is actually a, you know, a branch or like a limb. But I just used it as an example to show you how I do this. So you don't want to wait too long to do this because this will stiffen up and you'll have to start doing other things like cutting notches underneath it or using spreaders or something stronger than a clothespin. Right now it's about the summer solstice. You know, it's not too late by any means here, but it's going to vary by where you live. Here's the base of this shoot down here, and it's two years old. So in this case, uh, I limbered it up like this, and then I'm using a branch spreader instead of clothespins because the clothespins just aren't strong enough here. So this is just a board with two notches cut out of the end, just a little piece of scrap wood. So there's a nice 45 there. Check out my English Morello cherry here. This has been just a great tree. It bears every single year. It started bearing very early. 